All right, so for our next option, we're gonna start to talk about, well, what if they grab our ankle and we're not free to kick out for the X pass, okay? This changes things a lot and it's very important that we understand which direction we need to go, how to deal with that ankle grip, okay? So we'll go back to our headquarters. I work my way in, okay? I develop my uh, wall here on that side. I'm sitting, I'm in a great position, okay? But you see now, he's holding my leg, all right? So I'm not gonna be able to kick back for the X pass anymore, okay? Now, it's very important that I recognize that I need to go to the same side where he's holding my ankle to deal with that grip, okay? My favorite way to do this is creating a position that I like to call the side smash, all right? Now, to help me do this, I'm gonna grab his collar with my other hand and use my elbow on the outside of his knee here, okay? Now, I'm sitting low and I have this kind of control and I'll kind of pull him a little bit too. And, and due to the feeling uh, of, of having your leg compressed like this, many people are gonna try to push into you to work space to get their foot back out, okay? Yes, yeah, so they can use it on, their, on your hip. So when I feel that resistance with his knee, it's gonna make it very easy for me to cross his leg over, okay? Now, as I do that, it's important that I kind of raise up and generate the space for me to move his knee from one side of my body to the other, okay? And I'm gonna start this just with my arm. So I'm gonna raise up just a little bit, use my arm here, direct his leg over. At the same time, my whole body twists, okay? So I'm turning my toes into the direction that I wanna go. And I'm gonna drop my knee down below his butt, all right? It's very important that my knee goes below his butt. That way, he can't get under me. His arm can't reach under my leg, okay? Now, after I do that, I'm gonna to start to use my body on top of his knee and drop my right knee down. At this point, that will smash his hand that was controlling my ankle, all right? And it'll force him to let go. And now from here, I can start to drop my weight into this position here where both of his knees are facing the same direction, okay? I'm gonna show you what to do next, but first, let's look at the other angle. So you guys can see how I drop my knee, okay? So again, I approach, ankle knee, come inside, sit, I'm in my headquarters position. He's holding my ankle, I have double collar, okay? I feel him resist with his knee a little bit. I'm gonna raise up, use my arm, direct his leg to the other side. At the same time, look how I twist my legs, all right? So now my body can follow as my knee comes down below his butt. Now I'm, I'm gonna drive and put my right knee down on the mat. From here, I'm gonna drop into the side smash position, okay? Now, let's look at what we're gonna do next. Let's go the other way. So again, we come in, establish, double collar. He's holding my ankle. I'm gonna raise up a little bit. I feel him using his leg. That allows me to knock it over. I twist my toes, look at my toes. Go into the direction, pointing the direction that I'm going. Left knee down, then the right knee comes down, okay? Now from here, my arm is gonna come around his lower back. He's probably gonna move his hand out because it's kind of smashed right here. And as he's moving, it's very important that I adjust my position, okay? I don't wanna be directly over him like this, okay? I have to focus on making sure that his top knee here can't move, okay? If I'm directly over him, there's not that much weight on his knee and he can lift it up towards the ceiling and knock me over. So, in order to take away the strength in his leg, I need to change my angle to a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna scoot a little bit and adjust the position, okay? So now my hip is on top of his leg here and I'm going across his body, all right? Now, I wanna make the weight in the opposing direction against his shoulder. So his knee is pointing down this way and I'm gonna push his shoulder and his upper body the opposite way. 
This is going to be extremely uncomfortable for the person on bottom, which is exactly what we want as the person on top. So I create my angle, use my chest, and start to roll him out. To make this even worse, I'm going to use my leg here, my left leg, and I'm going to drive my knee between his legs. Now I can add even more torque in this position just by using my toe and driving my knee against his thigh. Okay? Now he's much more stretched out. From here I'll keep my hip low and I'm completely relaxed and I'm driving my chest into his upper body. So now he's in a really uncomfortable position and it's going to make me make it really easy for me to mount him from here. All I'll do is open up his elbow, circle my knee underneath, control his head, and just let my leg slide over and float into the mount position where I can establish not just the pass, but also the mount, which is a seven point transition, okay? Very, very powerful and very demoralizing for the person on bottom when they get their guard pass straight to mount, all right? Let's look at it again from the front. So I enter, establish my headquarters, okay? Double collar here. He's holding my ankle, so I know I have to go to my right, okay? Now I'm gonna use my elbow, raise my hip just a little bit so there's room for me to guide his knee over. Turn, drop, one, two, okay? I broke the grip off the, uh, my ankle now. From here, I'm gonna start to establish my side smash. As he's moving and resisting, I'm going to move, keep my 45 degree angle, and as soon as I can, I'm going to split his legs with my knee. Okay, my knee goes directly between his legs onto the mat. If I need to, I can kind of come back, start to roll him flat, use my knee against his thigh. This here is now, you know, uh, extremely uncomfortable for the person on bottom. Many times, they want you to just mount them, okay, because this is so uncomfortable. And you see when I stretch him, there's a lot of space here for me to move into mount. All I need to do is get this arm out of my way. So I'm going to slide this up, circle my knee in, take control of his head, and just glide over to the mount position and establish myself on top. This is by far my most favorite passing position to, to create. Um, there's lots of different ways to go there, which I show in my pressure passing system. This is just one option, and uh, you'll see how powerful this is for our ability to pass straight to mount. And not only that, we can find submissions in there, in that position, and we can also pass towards the back and many other options. And at the same time, they are, they are extremely uncomfortable. So uh, it, makes, it makes it you know that pressure really come on strong and really demoralize the person on bottom. Okay, um, so I hope you guys like that one. All right.